Creekside Mornings, Tony Doolin, Charles Davis. That is Josh Ritter with Old Black Magic. Yeah. So uh, Alex Von Coitel from the Making Mayhem is here. The Coitel's here. He yes, uh, showed up early this morning. Good morning, Alex. How are you? I'm I'm good. How are you? I'm good. We're not going to talk about um, we're not going to talk about the Mayhem yet. We're not not yet. because this is not your segment. No, not yet. No. Um, but you brought this to our attention. You got here early. Mm-hmm. And you you. Demanded, demanded. He came in that here that we play an intro for I mean, you. Yes, most Sla- guests don't demand their own intro. Slammed Alex. his phone on the table. And said, "You gonna play this?" <laughs> Alex <laughs> has his own intro, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Morning, <laughs> Ashley. Yeah. yeah. I, Put well, your headphones on. Well, yeah. I, I, mm. Alex, um, who who worked on this intro for you? You know what? I'm getting. Oh, a, somebody's calling. Yeah, somebody's calling him. That's oh. our guest. Should I? I should probably get that. Eh? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> he dropped the hell on you. <laughs> he did. He did. You guys give it a couple seconds because you know it's iPhones. It's gonna rain through. Yeah, no. Seconds. We want to play yeah. this intro. But who 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 did this? Uh, so our digital media producer Brian Arnold. He's he's good at this sort of thing. And I just kind of brought the idea up to him. I'm like, you know what? I go there every Monday morning. I need a little hype intro. I think this would be perfect. And you've you've said Alex von Coitel so many times throughout the season. Alex von Coitel. There's well, another one. We're gonna add to it probably. <laughs> There's another. Not if I don't send this file. <laughs> we're, we're gonna mix them all into one one little uh, um, song and. Mm. Let's hear this. Charles Let's hear okay, this. Yeah, go ahead and play it now. Now no. this is a work in progress it to our to our work. audience. This is a work in progress. Go ahead. Yeah. From Alex von Coitel, the voice. From Alex Von Coyle, the voice, voice. From Alex Von Coyle, the voice, 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 voice. Alex Von Coyle. See, I don't know if I can deal with this. You turn your phone up a little bit there. Yeah. Turn the output on your phone up. You want to redo it? Yeah. He's gonna play it over and over again. Yeah, we're gonna play this a lot. From Alex Von Coyle, the voice. From Alex Von Coyle, the voice. I didn't. I didn't give him clearance for this. Alex Von Coyle, the voice. I didn't. I didn't clear Voice. 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 Alex Von Coyle. My slider. <laughs> Hold on, get this right. He is me there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alex. I'm, um, that's mm, awesome. I, mm. All right, you can have that, homie. I'll that's let awesome. you. That's you, the homie. So, that's all right, fine. when he gets that finished, you can send that over to Anthony. Yeah, just send good. that to Anthony. I knew, we'll, I knew um, that last part would win you over there. See, because it was it snuck up on me, mm-hmm. and that I really appreciate. So, I'm a little <laughs> offended that you demanded we play it though. <laughs> You didn't even ask. You didn't ask. Nope. No. You don't know me like that. No, he's, he's because. It doesn't wow. get you anywhere in life. It doesn't get you anywhere in here. You just have to do it, Alex. Just, <laughs> That's valid. Yeah. That is very valid. I'll ding the bell for yeah. that. <laughs> you know, do it and then ask for forgiveness later. Right. Yeah. I want to get this part in. Uh-huh. I'll ding the bell for that. Now he just wants you to put everything yeah. in there. Now, Alex. He's giving you feed your stuff. Now, he's an idea guy. Ideas. All right, Tyler's calling again. Yeah. He's in trouble. Oh, oh, oh well, well, here's uh, Duran Jones in the indication. We'll be back in just a bit with Alex Von Koydel. One hundred point nine, the creep. One hundred point nine, the creep. Real music, real radio. Creekside morning. Stony Doolin, Charles Davis. That is John Cleary. Hit, get, quit, split. Uh, you want to fire up your intro there, Alex? From Alex Von Coitel, the voice. From Alex Von Coitel, the voice. Voice. From Alex Von Coitel, the voice. 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 Alex Von Coitel. Wow. I can't. I can't. I, mm, I, mm. Man wants his own intro. It's just ridiculous. It is just he demanded. He demanded it. Ah, <laughs> that is so presumptuous on your part. Asking gets you nowhere. Hold on. I'm hold on. That the hard way. Let me give you a good one. Alex von Koitel. He's gonna. He's gonna do that now. Just Alex. Make... Alex. Alex. Alex von Koitel. <laughs> <laughs> work all that in. You see what you've oh, done man. now. That'll give us a lot to work. Yeah, with. it, it will. will. Yeah, it sure. really will. Uh, <laughs> unlike being on this show. Uh, uh, yeah. Alex von Koitel, voice of the making mayhem, is here. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. Um, big games. Friday and Saturday night. Big yeah. wins. Yeah, really important games. We're playing against a uh, team that's uh, seated in the spot that we want uh, heading into the playoffs. They're ranked fourth. We're Right now we're ranked fifth. And if we were able to get to that fourth seed, we'd be able to get home ice advantage in the first round. So um, getting those four points this past weekend was huge, and it's given us hope that uh, for our last couple games uh, this weekend coming up that we can actually catch them and, and get that fourth spot. Now, okay. Friday night, fan appreciation night. Uh, final score, 4-2. That's right. Mm-hmm. I uh, I left. I left right after the last thing I had to do, which is at the five minute mark. Um, so we kind of wanted to beat traffic, so we went ahead and left. We were up three one. 
What did I miss in the last four minutes? <laughs> a Two lot goals? apparently. The last one was an empty netter. Yeah, um, Jake Trask with an empty net goal. Yeah, from center ice. And uh, I think with 31 seconds left, their Latvian kid, Lokans, he, he, uh, he scored to make it 3-2. So he it's kinda, always the damn Latvian kid. I mean, oh, right? Yes. Chris Stapps. Work, work that into the intro. Latvian kid. <laughs> Latvian kid. <laughs> l- l- Latvian kid. <laughs> Don't have him. Okay. <laughs> mm. Jesus. So uh, Saturday night, gone? though, was an away game. Yeah, that's right. Big win Saturday uh-huh. night. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a close game until the third period, and we just took over. Um, and it was a pretty uh, emotional weekend for a couple guys in particular who we got from Knoxville. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of making their homecoming return, and they both did a great job. On Cesar's Saturday. and Ortiz. That's right, yeah. I saw uh, Cesar's had a goal Saturday He did, night? and an assist. Nice. All right. Yeah, mm-hmm. in my book, he should have gotten one of the third. I think he did get a, th- a second star, actually. So okay, that nice. Was, that might have been tough for the for them to pick him as one of the stars of the game. Well, but if he played the role, <laughs> then you got to get to him. Exactly. Yeah. Oh well, and, sorry about your luck, Knoxville. I mean, really, <laughs> Can Knoxville. So uh, this weekend, who do we have? This weekend, we're on the road in Peoria, um, mm. top seeded team in the league. Mm. They've they've clinched the league title already. So um, you know they've had an unbelievable season, but they've also been. Uh, on a bit of a slump lately, so we're yeah. hoping we can take advantage I of that. I was going to ask you that. With them already clinching, do you think they might just be coasting into the playoffs, not really worried about the rest of these games, which would give the mayhem the ability to come in and possibly sneak a couple? Yeah, um, I, th- I think so. They've, I think they've played some players who they wouldn't normally okay. if they were in a really tight you know, race to get a position that okay. they want, that they were after. So. Um, but that being said, they're still a really dangerous team yeah. no matter what situation they're in. So we've got to bring our A game this weekend. Don't they have a uh, former Mayhem player playing for them now? They do, Dennis Sicard. He's dead to me. We, <laughs> when, when you came in here and d- told d- d- me. Dead to me. Dead to me. <laughs> work that in. When you came in here and told me that, that Sick was playing for them, my, my heart dropped, and I immediately hate him with everything. D- 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 dead to me. Now. Dead to me. Uh-huh. <laughs> you brought a guest this morning. I yes. did. You play goalie? What do you no, do, Tyler? No, not quite, not quite. Uh, <laughs> Tyler colleague. Layfield. That's it. Yes, director of ticketing for the Mega Mayhem. Oh, so Patrick you're not a service. player. No, not a player. Not no, a front player. office. You're dead to me. D- 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 yeah. d- no, dead to me. no, no, no. Jesus. <laughs> Alex, do you see what you done started? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. T t Tyler. T t t Tyler. Need to get him an intro, too. Yeah, yeah. So, director of ticketing, when is the last opportunity? Was Friday the last opportunity to pick your home seats? Your so, season tickets for next year? So uh, for our season ticket holders that are renewing, in order to keep those same seats for next season, March 29th was the last day to kind of put down your deposit just to keep those same seats. As of right now, uh, those that did not, their seats are kind of up for grabs. So mm. if y'all want to, call up the office, and we'll see if we can work something out mm. for you. Tyler will give you somebody else's yeah. seat. He, that's how he rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler is no loyalty. Not, he's not playing. <laughs> he, he's not playing. He's but uh, what does it cost for a, uh, a season ticket? So it, it kind of varies from uh, what section you're in. And then if, um, also like our people that have been here since the inaugural season, they kind of get a little bit of a discount. Mm-hmm. They kind of got locked into a deal, a five-year deal. So um, it kind of varies. And if you want to sit in end zone, it's a end zone or upper bowl. It's a little bit uh, less expensive. Right. And then, you know, as you go down, it gets a little bit more. Those, yeah. those on the glass. Closer yeah. to the action is going to cost you. That's what you want mm-hmm. on the glass. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the other people. What a great value, though, for a family because it oh, is yeah. it is a very affordable season ticket for a family. Yes, sir. Definitely something you should uh, consider in the Mayhem Games if you've never been to one. Shame on you. Shame on you, <laughs> number one. Number two, you don't know what you're missing because it is a good time. I think yeah. some people may be intimidated by the fact that they don't understand the rules of hockey. Uh, there's only two. As far as I know, <laughs> I, I think there's more rules than two, Tony. <laughs> not really. No, not what, really. What two are you thinking of? Pretty much there's, uh, well, there's icing. That, okay, that's there's more. That, that and one. that's a sponsored, that's a sponsored mm-hmm. rule violation. Okay. So, so, so it's like a media timeout. It almost. kind of is, yeah. Okay. Uh, but, mm. but no, in all seriousness, you don't really need to understand all of the nuances of hockey to be able to enjoy a hockey game. True, true. It, it's a very easy game to figure out. Mm-hmm. Do you yes, like sir. seeing people run into each other and smash their brains against each other? Yes. Then come do. on to the game. <laughs> then come at, on to the game. Do you like yelling? Actually, at that, the, actually that was more of a rhetorical question. Do, yeah. do you like yelling at the opposing <laughs> team uh, obscenities yeah. by children? Uh, come on out. Oh, actually, yeah. again, a fan of that. Yeah. <laughs> come on, go. Tyler, if you've ever heard anyone screaming the obscenities, that's probably Ashley. Uh oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Beats on the glass a lot. I've warned her. I've yeah. asked her not to. Especially this past Friday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ashley, did you get a little rough again, Ashley? We're not, we're not getting into that, Charles. We're not getting into that. I'm not going to do that. Oh, oh, Ashley, you can't, you can't do that to players, Ashley. 
No, she was doing that fans. Wow. Yeah. It was a rough night <laughs> Friday night. Chilling. It was fan appreciation night, Ashley. Don't do that. <laughs> Oh, don't don't dredge that up, Charles. Uh, Tyler, if someone wants to talk to you about season tickets, how do they go about getting in touch with you? Uh, so they can contact our Mayhem office. Uh, let's see if I can get that number out real quick. I probably should have that out. <laughs> can they go to makingmayhem.com yeah, yeah, yeah. and find that number? They can go. Yes, they can do that. See, yeah. that's the correct the answer. Website. There we go. Bingo. Yeah. Visit the website. <laughs> ding, ding. Or go to the Making Mayhem Facebook page. Or go. subscribe to the YouTube channel. Or, or just stalk Tyler. One of yeah, the three. There we go. There it's we go. another easy way to do it. Yeah. You can always recognize Tyler by his intro music. Mm-hmm. T- 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 Tyler. Jesus. Tyler. Work that in. Oh God. I want that worked in, Alex. Yeah. Alex, this, I don't this, ever want to hear that. Mm. This whole segment's basically getting worked in. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Lots of samples. Ashley yeah. screams obscenities. Yeah. Ashley screams mm-hmm. obscenities. Yeah. Yeah. Use that. A lot of dust up. It's a lot, a lot of, of syllables. <laughs> a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody joined in on that. No, I was there, but you know. <sighs> Tomorrow night, Alex, line change with Coach Leo Thomas downstairs, Creek Stage at the Rookery. Uh, right. Who are the player guests I for tomorrow night? I haven't decided yet. You're on the no. ball this week. I'm, mm. uh, yeah. <laughs> Way to slack, Alex. Work that in. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Way to slack. Way to slack. Alex, just, okay. Alex, just continue on. Yeah, so, please. I, I mean, we had so many players do a good job this weekend that mm-hmm. I haven't decided who I want to have on. Good answer. Uh, good good answer. answer. Usually I base my decision on who to bring on who played the best. So. Well, you got a but, tough call this week. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I do. I mean, maybe maybe we can get a couple of former Rivermen. I know we have some on our team. That okay. could, oh, that that'd could be, be all right. Yeah. 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 That'd be all right. So mm-hmm. uh, tomorrow night, 6.30, line chain starts. You can uh, stream the show on the Mayhem YouTube page or... Just be there in person. Get there around six ish. Yeah. Get your food. Get your drink. Set up. Have a good time. Meet Coach Thomas. Yeah. Meet the players. Meet Alex Von Coidel. Work that in. <laughs> work that in. Alex, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you too. I think I'm just going to work in you saying work that in. Work that in. <laughs> work that in. You can use that in a lot of different ways, Alex. I'm just saying. Here you go. I'll give you a couple. Work it, Alex. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, oh, that's a good oh, one. I yeah. Am, I am not work it, Alex. Mm-hmm. Oh, Work it, Alex. Uh, he's dancing for you, Alex. You know this, right? It's good stuff. Tyler, thanks yeah. for coming in this morning. Thank you for having me. Again, uh, if you want those season tickets, go to makingmayhem.com. Here is The Devil Makes Three on the Creek. My hand.